<laughs> All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> my name is Jun Hao Huang from Team 846. And here with me, we have five contestants for the highest build. Uh, what did I name this exactly? Uh, building challenge for the WWWVROX. So, uh, would our contestants like to introduce themselves first? Sure. Um, my name is Colin Street. I'm with Team 2614 Mountaineer Area Robotics. Um, and I'm a sophomore. All right. Uh, I'm Gabriel Flanagan. I am also a member of Mars 2614 and a sophomore in the uh, Outreach and Public Relations sub team. Hi, I'm Wake Embry, uh, part of Team 2614 Mars Area Robotics. I'm also an OPR and also a sophomore. Um, I guess I'll go. I'm Sam. I'm from Team 846. I'm a senior. I'm, I guess I'm the last one. Uh, I'm Jing Chen. I'm from Team 864, the Banana Breakers. Definitely <laughs> not part of Team 846. Uh, uh, I guess I'm an alumni. Little backstory on 864. Uh, I think we went to a re uh, off season event where they allowed two teams. So we went one team as 846 and another team as 864. So that's where we got that from. All right, so I will show, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to show you the rules. Um, Twitch chat, if you are looking, um, feel free to uh, feel free to participate also. Um, we will have a section during this challenge where we need Twitch chat's help. Um, so if you are in the chat, make sure to participate when the time comes. So I have a very good slide show pre prepared with one total slide about the rules. Uh, after I give you the rules, you will have five total minutes or five total minutes to prepare anything you think might be necessary from uh, outside of your current area. Um, I'm currently in my room. Other people are probably as well. Um, some people have a little more things in their room than other people do. So let's give them five minutes to prepare things. So a few rules on things you, on certain things. First, no Legos or similar building blocks. I'm not gonna have this competition turn into who can build the most Legos in the set amount of time. So <laughs> no Legos, no those big Lego thingies, none of that. Second, you are only allowed three rectangular objects in your tower. Again, I don't want people building a very high stack of books. Not very fun. Only three rectangular objects allowed in your tower. Third, no object may take up more than 25% of your tower. You can't just say, here's my bookshelf and that's my tower. Done. So those are your three restrictions on what you can build. Next, there will be challenges throughout the game challenge. There, there will be many challenges throughout the entire challenge. I will give them on intervals of approximately five minutes. Uh, they will involve certain things like um, certain things that will probably disadvantage you while you are trying to build the tower. Uh, I will say that while you are getting your objects, I would recommend you to get a sheet of paper because that is required for multiple of these events. So these rules are purposely kept vague. I don't know what you define by a rectangular object. I don't know what you define by Legos or similar building blocks. Use them to your will. So you have five minutes to go ahead and start gathering your materials. Go. All right. <laughs> Not even in my house, but in a completely new location. I'm, I'm, go I'm, going I'm just going to read through Twitch chat just like very fast. <laughs> Didn't say anything about <laughs> not using CAD. Maybe. I don't have to. Um, I will do both the judging and, um, I guess, participant at the same time. I am not eligible to win because 
I made this, so I kind of have a few ideas on what I kind of want to do. Um, so. <laughs> All right, participants, you have until the 22 minute mark to get your things. All right, uh, Maddie wants to add another rule of no stacking chairs. Uh, I. If you can find four chairs to stack reliably well with the given restrictions, maybe. Are we stacking on the floor or on a table? You can stack anywhere you want. Uh, you can stack on a table, you can stack on a chair, you can stack on anything. Um, be sure you define what your base is and make sure you define or make sure that the camera can see where you're building, like from my vantage point, we really can't see the floor. So, this. Can, I clarify, can I clarify a few rules? Go ahead. <laughs> so no stacking chairs is in no, like zero chairs allowed or one chair allowed? Uh, let's go for one chair allowed. However, the 25% rule still applies. 25% by weight or volume or height? Uh, by height. It was three rectangular objects, right? I didn't hear that, sorry. What did you say? Sorry, uh, you said it was three rectangular objects? Maximum, yes. Okay. Right, contestants, you have one minute remaining for gathering your materials. Fun fact, 30 seconds remaining. Uh, Harrison is using CAD. <laughs> wow, great tower. Uh, who was this? Harrison 127, great tower. All right, contestants, your time is up. Uh, please return to your places. All right. So I will start the timer. Uh, where'd my time wrap go? All right, so you have until, I guess, the rest of the stream, minus five minutes at the end for judging, mm -hmm. to build your tower. I will give you challenges at uh, roughly five minute intervals. So, is everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Three. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, I think I kind of forgot to mention this. You might have wanted to get a tape measure so we could like measure the height of your tower. <laughs> Probably should have mentioned that from the start. Don't have don't have any of those. Well, <laughs> you can guess the date how tall your tower is. Oh, 
25 percent. This counts for 25 percent, probably. Yeah. Right, I see people stacking <laughs> carriers. Uh, those are chip boxes. Uh, Sam is stacking totes. Uh, Colin is having water bottles on top. What's the best way to do this? This chip box is not as stable. Yeah, things are not as stable as you think they would be. You know, ultimate move. It's a hiking pole. And you stick it into the ceiling, and it supports your tower for you. I mean, your the height of your tower should still be like. Yeah, my tower's taller than I am, so there's okay. So. It's <laughs> Uh, is it only my tower that's not as tall as my last level? No. Right, I had to give up on that. Right, uh, so... That's a pass. Oh god, my computer's about to die. Okay then. Alright. Contestants. Pause where you are right now. Stop what you are doing. So five minutes have passed. Alright. I'll come back to your screens. I was going to have the grid for the pro Oh, I don't know if it's just me, but I can't hear you. Hi. Is my audio working? Good? Cool. Yeah, you're good. All right. So 
my very first challenge was going to be throw a paper airplane at your tower. But I'm thinking that everyone's tower might be a little too strong for that. So I'm going to go directly to the second one. So right now, um, I see people around me. Uh, Colin is on my left. Uh, Gabriel is on my right. Uh, Jing, and then in a circle, we have Gabriel, Jing Chen, Lake, Sam, and then Colin. So in that order, everyone, Name one object, keep it vague, that you want the next person to include in their tower. So, Gabriel, suggest something to Jing Chen. Keep it vague so that, like, it, he probably, it, not something like, like, I don't know, a Dewalt drill. Like, <laughs> don't have that at home. Uh, like if you say a drill wait, wait, uh, clarifying i just want to clarify does it have to be a structural element or just a, does it just have to be an element yeah you just need to have it you need to ask them to include something in their tower okay so it just it has to be there i'm going okay. to keep it at that all right and if we gabriel, don't have it in our okay never mind gabriel it is your turn first suggest something to jing chen can you have that hat in the background <laughs> you no, know, I think he's talking about my hat. Yeah, Gabe, I think you're talking about the wrong person. Yeah. Jing Chen is the one with the turtle. Jing Chen is the turtle. Jing Chen is the turtle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, alrighty. Yeah, sorry. My screen is frozen up. Um. Huh. Uh, why isn't it showing me everyone? That's weird. All right. Man, I don't know. Uh, do you have a utensil somewhere on there? Uh, a utensil? All right. Is that you? I guess that's it. Uh, Jing Chen has left to get a utensil. <laughs> so, uh, I was I was going to ask... Okay, I guess Jing Chen is back. Jing Chen, suggest something to Lake to include in their tower. Uh, a binder. A binder. All right. Lake, your turn. Oh, Stop leaving. <laughs> your turn. Uh, suggest something to Sam to include in their tower. Sam, um... Hmm. How about that pink hat? It's red. Pink for hat. Sure. All right. Not People so are going conservative, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Not, all right sam what would you like colin to include in this tower uh some object hanging by a string okay. <laughs> just something okay. hanging from a string all right <laughs> lastly That's colin good. colin what would you like to suggest gabriel add to their tower um tell us something edible like any type of food something edible all right, all five contestants, you know what you need to add, and let's continue building. You have five more minutes. Go. Wow. Let's see. I have one on my Well, my tower has collapsed. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think I can build any, any higher. This is, I think I'm not tall enough. Use a chair or something. Well. I used the one rectangular.
Ooh, all right, thank you. Just since you have two and a half minutes remaining in this segment. I think I'm decently satisfied with my current tower. Uh, let's look at some of the other towers. We have Colin just has this like blocked with like a large claw. Oh yeah, I got a blanket here. Wait, so there's a drum right here. Uh huh. And then it goes. I'm going to got some flip flops in that basket and a gum wrapper at the very. Top. All right. Gabriel has a tower of food. Uh, Sam has a lot of things, actually. Uh, I can't see what, I can't see, like, like, what, I can't, I can't see what's the difference between, like, his background as his tower at this time. All right. And then we have Jing Chen with his turtles and shell? A foam? <laughs> All right. Contestants, contestants, your 10, or your five minute segment is up. Now, oh, all right. I can do some dangerous things right now and ask you to stomp vigorously around your tower. Uh, for some people, it will be a lot more dangerous than for others. I think mine will be I, the I, most dangerous. I can't do that. My roommates are asleep, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I will ask you to do two things at once, two challenges at once, because number one, Remove an object as safely as possible that is not within the top meter of the tower. You can't touch anything else. Or you can't like lift it off and then remove it and then put it back on. Remove it, it like Jenga. Remove something that is not within the top meter of your tower or top foot of your tower. Let's go for that. And uh, what, what was the other step? And remove that object from play entirely. Like, you can't ever use it again. That's number one. Hey, uh, Junha, are you watching this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, go ahead. Each contestant, go ahead oh, and wait, do wait. one at a time. Are you taking, Jing Chen, are you taking something out from inside your suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Wait, wait. Okay, that's <laughs> true. Wait, Junha, are you watching this? All right. I said not within the top. No, no, no. no. Okay, I, I have a hiking pole there going to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the hat is still within the top foot of the tower. No, 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 I no. Think. The hiking pole is two feet up, at least. <laughs> I can get a measuring tape. All right. Uh, okay. Someone else. <laughs> Uh, are you watching? Mm-hmm. I can't okay, he's removing a chip bag? Is he removing a chip bag? All right. All right, Colin and Lake. Oh, I already off. did mine. I had a water bottle sitting right here. Yeah, okay, right here. and Lake removed a whole wa- a watermelon. Okay. <laughs> so, everyone has removed their thing. Now, I hope Twitch chat is being a little active right now. Push chat. Do your best. Write something in there that you think all of these contestants should include in their tower. And this time, it's not just include. It's structurally support more than a foot of the tower with that object. So think carefully. Don't say a fork because... It's gonna screw them over. <laughs> uh, I got. A foot. You can just stick a fork in between two pieces, right? Well, str- yeah, yeah, I guess. I just get a macaroni box, a whole fridge. <laughs> None of these are very great ideas. Uh, I want to say a oh, laptop. Please have a laptop. Please don't say a laptop. <laughs> I got a. I got two votes on the fridge. I don't think anyone <laughs> can get a fridge. A chair, <laughs> yes. A chair. All right. Let's go for. Any any anything else than a chair? Any better ideas than a chair? A bag of sugar. I think I like that. So everyone, I, I a bag hope. Of sugar. I hope you have sugar. Uh, it doesn't have to be sugar. A Are we bag? like to use brown sugar? You, okay, that, like, so the top nicer. thing is, if you have a bag of sugar, go with that. If you have, if you need to create a bag full of sugar, go with that. If you, you need to create a bag full of powder, like baking soda, go ahead. Mm-hmm. And like worst case, a bag of any non-solid thing, like Water. grainy things. Rice, something like that. But you should try to get a bag of sugar first. All right. right. So you have five minutes until the next segment, and let's continue building. Oh, the water. I should have gone for that. I'll go for that next. Man. Oh, that's exhausting too. I got a question. Wait, Gabe, did your tower fall? Number two. I got a question. <laughs> this, uh, how big is this bag supposed to be? Apparently, uh, Bags are not the most structurally stable supports. Your bag can be of any size, but it has to structurally support more than a quarter of a pound. Is this, I had to get like a baggie of flour, is that fine? That's fine. I don't think I have a bag, I think we ran out of sugar today. So (laughs) here's my bag. Is that baking soda? Yes, it is. Mm. Uh, Quick FRC, we use this to neutralize, uh, is it baking soda or baking powder? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Neutralize what? Neutralize battery acid. Oh, oh. The baking soda or baking powder? In the immortal, immortal words of Mr. Chi, batteries don't leak. <laughs> that too. Ah, uh, how do I include this in my tower? So wait, do we just have to put it on our tower? 
You have to put it on your tower so that it supports more than a foot of it. More than a foot. All right. Yes. Hmm. At Sam High, how high is your ceiling? Uh, I think it's about 10 feet. No way. Sam, you're like four. I'm like five. Okay, maybe eight, <laughs> maybe nine. Nine and a half. I don't know. It's between seven and 12. You know. But why do you ask? Because I'm also at my ceiling and I can't build any higher. One might be higher than the other. You know, I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be uh, capable of reconstruction here. I broke a central part of this. <laughs> this is All right, let's find out. All right. While we're waiting, I kind of want to go with the Twitch chat thing again. So, uh, in the remaining two minutes, uh, have fun, Twitch chat, have fun proposing ideas for things for them to do. Yeah, this is not really sound at all. I can't myself. Uh, that's a just third second painting. What was that? I yeah, my I'm trying to put my top layer on top of the baking soda. It's not working out very really um, well. Yeah, that is like so weird. Like you know what? This one is not falling yet. It looks like it is about to, but it hasn't yet. Is that your third tower game? It's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't like the angle that it's taken, though. It's not very comforting. You just thought it was a bad choice. I propose the hiking pole strategy to everybody. I don't have a hiking pole just sitting in my room. I didn't. I got it in the first five minutes. Also, it can't, also it can't like, Stay. It, it can't be like more than like twenty five percent. I don't think it is. I think it's about exactly twenty five percent. I mean, I think I need to just do this. Like, what is that? Is that like a projector? Like, it is a crush. <laughs> like, it won't like, happen. Is Lake making something? I don't know. <laughs> I, oh, I that's a binder. Are... That's a binder. Oh, it's a binder. Yeah, you're right. They should really do like civil engineering. Well, I uh falling back to now. Sam, do you like my my hiking pole? Right. Where? Non-existent one. <laughs> oh, Just a piece of foam. Uh, what can I use? Hiking pole as well, because. If it's just, it, if it's like this, and my crutch here, like it's not supporting the crutch. So I can't say that the bag is supporting the top foot of the tower. Oh, so the bag needs to support everything above it. Is that it? Oops. All right. It is long past. I said use a tomato. It is it is long past five minutes because I kind of ran over time. Uh, use a tomato. Fun fact: I do not own tomatoes in my house. But what's a milk steak bag? What is a milk steak bag? A milk steak bag. Huh. 
The chat is being interesting right now. Uh, use a tomato. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's go for a fruit with a like a plump fruit. Like go for tomato first, and then go for a peach or just any kind of food that it kind of presses inwards when you um when you push it so am i allowed to put it in a bag so that it doesn't like explode sure, sure. Okay. or you can just explode it in the bag and have it have that be your thing you can explode a tomato in a bag wasting food yeah don't waste it then make a tower yeah. that doesn't waste it <laughs> Like well, you can crush it and then eat it, so that's your choice. Like you can eat it afterwards. But uh, let's go. For, let's go for that. Uh, fruit has to be uh, at the top of your tower. The top. At the top of your tower. Oh no! So everyone, you have five minutes to continue. This will be your last segment. Ready? Go. Oh, you Did the tower fall again? <laughs> I, you know, I kind of feel as if I may be at a point of no return here. <laughs> All right, everyone has until 12.55. Or actually, 3.55 from that end. Again, we're a West Coast team. I'm a West I'm living in the West Coast right now, so... I right now, I'm, right now it's 12.55. I didn't want to say West Coast, Best Coast, but I can't really say that in a, in a full of. We're not really. I mean, we're not right on the coast. Mm. I don't think we are on the coast in general. We're kind of. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I need your lens off. Like, you're still like. Yeah. In that general like area. Over there. West coast, best coast, because we don't have humidity. Oh yeah, did you guys hear Death Valley had a new like record high temperature at 131 degrees, I think it was. Wow. Yeah, I don't believe the high school is only 131. I mean, it, it's like 55 Celsius or something like that. Compared to like Europe was panicking a while back because they got like a 35 degree heat wave or something like that. Maybe not panicking is the right word. But there is a heat wave in Europe that was 35 degrees Celsius. Um, and there's heat wave here that was 105 degrees Celsius and the governor was, or 105 degrees Fahrenheit and the governor decided to like shut down work. Almost. So wait, should I go look for a tape measure? If you are comfortable in your tower. What? <laughs> I crushed my tower. <laughs> Darn. Oh, do we have another collapse? Yes. Yeah, looks like we do. I'm not alone. <laughs> in the That's very top of my roll. A little bit ago, it's back up there now. It just broke. Wait, is that a Megadar. music stand? Yeah, it is. Oh wait, what instruments do you play? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. The cello. Oh, the cello, cool. Hey, orchestra gang. <laughs> Is 
the other orchestra gang member played. Uh, I hope that doesn't fall. Mine is probably the like the least structurally sound power. Because all my things depend on like music stand. Hey, music stands are pretty strong. I'm depending on a bunch of <laughs> mine is like I'm a 20 depending. book. Mine, mine's I'm depending like... on roll that paper. Nice. But okay, yeah, I mean, wait, what's that under the music stand for you though, Jun Ha? That's my chair that I like, that's like made for the cello apparently. And then it's a box that's left over from my 3D printer. Okay. Okay, well, here's the thing half of my tower is one. I... Half of your tower is what? And it fell. That's fun. Uh, All right, contestants, you have the one minute remaining. Uh, think, if you think you are done, please measure the height of your tower as best as possible. All right. <laughs> like what to shout is saying. All right, contestants, your time is up. Please stop building. Now is your time to measure as best as possible. I'm not even eye level with that, but I think that's enough to lose this one. All right. It's like five this thing. I don't know how big this thing is. <laughs> All right, so my measurement is 77 inches or approximately, uh, no, or approximately 198 centimeters. That is my tower. Hopefully you did better than the host. <laughs> okay, so mine is 82 inches. 82 inches, all right. So I am second at 70, 78, and we have 82, you said? Mm -hmm. All right, so we have 82. Who is our next contestant? Gabriel. All right, so, well, um, I can't say that it's exactly a measurement for my tower, as uh, I think five iterations of it have promptly fallen over. All right. So we're kind of uh, big fan zero on that one. Yes. <laughs> all right. So we have a zero on the scoreboard for Gabriel. Uh, all right. I have uh, 73 inches. Because mine fell over at the last minute. So that's about 73 inches. All right. I'm having a hard time measuring. Let's do this things. My measuring tape only goes 30 inches. Yikes. Blame, blame whatever FRC team. I don't know. Sorry, don't blame them. It's a good measuring tape. I should have used one of those gag measuring tapes where inches are like one and a quarter inches instead. <laughs> um, I've got 60 inches. All right. Lastly, Jing Chen is still trying to measure. All right. I think our top. I don't think it's past 80, though. All right. I think the winner is um, Colin from Team 2614 is our winner for this challenge. Congratulations on building the highest tower. Thank you. Yay. All right. Wait, and my mind is 84. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, actually, can I do my math? It's, no, 83. 29 plus 29 plus 25. I'm gonna do the math on that. I can't, my brain isn't thinking enough. 
<laughs> All right. So we still haven't started school. My brain is still fried. Okay. So it's we still have... haven't started. No, we it's don't. It's eighty-three. Yeah. Me. Oh wow. So we have Jing Chen at eighty-three, Colin at eighty-two. Not. I don't think we can really trust Jing Chen's measurement because it's, uh, it's close enough. Trust my measurement. Yeah, you, you like have only like a thirty-inch measurement. No. All right. I I think I think I think I think we can leave this up to a shot. All right. Uh <laughs> yeah, we're, we're we're doing something weird. Uh, uh near yeah, tea it's, food. It's, it's within a margin of 82. I, yeah, okay. The tower is too weird. <laughs> okay. So, I guess mm, I, I I think I can declare you both winners cuz you're pretty close to 82. So congratulations, Colin from 2614 and Jing Chen from Team 864. Uh, <laughs> congratulations on building the highest tower at WDROX. I hope I got that correct. Um, thank you guys for watching. And I guess we'll uh, we'll send out a little kind of like uh, three different trophy, maybe just like three different something oh, okay. to our winners. And uh, we will see you next time if that exists all right thank you for watching thank you for holding this event it was a lot of fun <laughs> all right thank you <laughs> thanks for watching if you want more fun content be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos thanks to all of our co-executive producers on patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on twitch keeping fun loud live and independent